Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Beaton here again, and well, I'm not into big into the music today, but some of the songs and bands scratch my head. I scratch my head, like Katy Perry. Some of the songs I scratch my head on, like Teenage Dream and Roar. When I heard teen Teenage Dream, I said, "Ah, uh, pardon me, uh, Katy." Your howl? You, you're about, I don't know if you're about maybe. I don't know if she's about in her late 20s, early 30s. I'm not. I'm spitball on her age, but she's straight singing about teenage dreams. Which I, kind of boggles my mind. Mind you. Plus, her song, Roar, which was the music for you. How in the hell does she. A survived the, the, the plane crash, and B made a a tiger, a Bengal tiger, into a pet. I don't know why, but maybe it's just right. A tiger is a hunter, kills people, kills anim of animals. But I don't know how else she made. And add a tiger into a pet. And also, there's Carly Rae Jepsen. To me, she's gonna be a one hit wonder because of her song Call Me Maybe. And believe it or not, I'm gonna. Her character is. Why should I call you Maybe? Is that your name? In that song? And here's what I think it. At the time, she's 27 years old when she did music for you. She's trying to portray she's 17, trying to act 20, 27, but trying to but feels like a 17 year old. Just want to go scratching my head for that song. And also, one that and one thing I found out, but this is one person out there called Florence and the Machine, and. It's kind of a where is it me talking about that her this this person this I'll, I'm just just talk, think about Florence and the Machine. I think when I heard about that name. Well, I think a, I thought it was a sex act, but I found it's actually a band. And hell. And that song. I see only one of our performances on Sign Out Live many years, about maybe about five, six years ago. And I actually found out it's a singer with, with, with these different bands coming in as The Machine, which I can not my mind on that one. And I think it's kind of... Weird when I think of a band name like that, Florence and the Machine. Heck, is it just like the Miami Sound Machine backing up Gloria Estefan from the eighties, or is it Rage Against the Machine, which I think is kind of a lot better than just calling your band name the Machine. Which I think is a lot better than, like I said, it, you, you have to have just, instead of having just an item as a, your, an item's name as your band name. Plus, as a former radio personality, I have to think. 
on some of these bands' names as well. And I'm just. I have to. Tell you what my views on. This right now because look. I don't know why in the hell we have all these. All like stupid things in. The world. Plus. I'm in. Hearing this, I got nothing against the singer named Megan Chainer. And one of her songs is kind of a tongue in cheek, but she's all about the bass, which is talking about her butt. And seriously, that's that's nice, nice voice of saying, I'm all about my bo my body. And hell, at least that it's a lot better than Nicki Minaj. Yeah, that's right. I'm going right there for it with Nicki Minaj. And her song Anaconda is, I consider it a, a little bit offensive. Because, come on, it's. I don't know why she wants to talk about her ass. And in that song, yeah, she has freaking. Sir Mixlock lock doing a, the backup for her song and they it's mostly a rehash of Baby Got Back by Sir Mixlock and to me why in the hell you want to have a song that the melody is just a rehash of of an old song, which I think is, it kind of boggles my mind on that. And hell, and if I was running at a radio station, I have to screen the singles before playing it on my radio station because I don't want to offend who's listening. Because to me, I have to think well. A certain percentage of my my listeners, because that's what a radio station should do. And hell, the the song "Roar" by Katy Perry. It, I think of it, it's in, about an empowerment. While Nicki Minaj's "Anaconda" it's about sex. And heck. When I was listening to this one song by this Canadian singer named Feist, I I did some research on it, and when I heard her singing it, I I thought I heard her heard her say, "I fear it all," but it's actually I feel it all, which technically I can, sometimes you have to sing clearly so I can actually so so people can. Actually, hear what you, the singer, is actually singing. Plus, to all you people out there using auto tune, quit it. Please quit it. It's annoying as fuck. And, to all you people out there who want to hear the music, new music by <coughs> some of these former. Kid stars, look. Sure, it's yeah. Sure, Justin Bieber is big, but you know what? Look what he's doing behind off stage. And what? And same with Miley Cyrus. Same thing. But hell, <coughs> that rough patch also happened with Britney Spears. <coughs> Which, and I told a few people this. So, so look what happened with. I told a few of my my friends that look what will happen with. What, what Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus will be doing will be the same thing as will happen to, will happen to, Britney Spears. They're gonna have. They're. 
they'll be famous for all the wrong reasons. And there'll be some, and hell, in the porn industry, they made a running get a running parody of Britney Spears, which I don't know how many how long they actually did it for, but maybe in a couple, maybe next year and year after that, we're gonna have a Miley Cyrus parody or a. Justin Bieber parody hell. On one site, they got a, a Donald Trump parody, which I'm not going to detail on that. So, to all you people out there, you have to think on your the gist of your songs and your and your band name. And this is Malibu Sean Bateman signing off.